And now to other stories. The United Nations Children Fund and Gold Prime Organization have launched a rapid response mechanism intervention for about 33,000 children suffering from severe and moderate malnutrition in Borono State. Now, this move is aimed at improving the health conditions of children who are survivors of the 13-year Boko Haram insurgency. And Jesse Tafida reports. Some 4.3 million people in Borno, Yobe and Adamawa states face the risk of severe hunger. Out of this number, children under the age of five suffer the most with acute malnutrition. This can largely be attributed to a 13-year conflict that has bedeviled the region. Government Girls Arabic Secondary School Camp, Mafa. Over 30,000 displaced persons take refuge here. The moody streets of the camp are filled with children roaming about. Most nursing mothers come to this center seeking for medical attention from UNICEF and other partners. It admits over 30 children on a daily basis due to malnutrition. Hadiza Amadou calves her eight-month-old son, Ali, in her arms. He's suffering from acute malnutrition. She tells TVC News how UNICEF has been of help to her ill child. She says Ali has been ill for two weeks now. That's why I brought him to this place early in the morning. UNICEF has assisted in giving us drugs, which I will ensure I follow accurately for my baby to be strong again. <laughs> UNICEF says it will continue supporting the over 33,000 children suffering from acute malnutrition in the region. What severely I can manage, I can manage. We are hoping this year to reduce because the gap rate has reduced from 14.3 to 11.3 this year. Adequate counseling is being given to nursing mothers whose children are affected by moderate acute malnutrition and how to maintain good hygiene and nutrition. Jesse Tafida, TVC News, Mafa.